Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Tentura X Coat. The God and the Genius by Tempest underscore Moon. Chapter 3 Class D Rimuru Pav sitting here inside the classroom, I can say that the environment is much more peaceful than what I had experienced inside the black box facility. In there, teachers are called commanders and we were supposed to obey every single demands they give. We weren't allowed to talk casually with other students with or without the teacher and the punishment for those who disobey the rules are rather harsh compared to this world's standard. I'd say that Hikuro's training methods was 10x harder compared to that place so for me it was normal. We study day and night, and different trainings are being conducted by different teachers who are great at their field. I was able to pass every single subject in all of the field, making me a role model towards the students, or so I thought. I received so much hate from that place because Ray was giving me a special treatment, he was my guardian after all. He's always focused on my development and monitors my every single move. He allowed me to do most of the students there could only wish for which is unfair in my opinion, so it didn't bother me much knowing that he's always have eyes set on me and just let him do his thing. Every month a lot of parents took their children away from that place with many complaints, some even tried to sue the school but always ended up in failure. As I was busy recalling my past 14 years on this world, I can say that it was not that bad. But after a little while, the teacher whose name was Chi Yabashira Sei entered our classroom. She then explained to us the differences of the school to any ordinary school of Japan by giving us documents about the place. While listening to her, I asked Seal for more information. Seal. This is true right? Yes master. This school differed from the multitude of other Japanese high schools in a few key ways. Here, all students were required to live in dormitories located on school premises. Living inside the school grounds huh? Looks like the rules was slightly the same with the black box isn't? If that's the case, students won't have to worry finding a place close by to the school right? Talk about convenience. That's true. But there are also downsides in that. Students aren't allowed to contact anyone from the outside premises whether it was their parents or loved ones. They were only able to contact if there is an emergency. Also they aren't allowed to leave the school. You're right. I only got in because Ray gave this school a recommendation letter. He was also a big shot in US having multiple connections, he can do whatever he wants. Correct. His network is wide. But if we're going to live here for three years, where are we going to get the money for our expenses? What about money seal? It was written in the documents that a student are able to get points, and with that points, students are able to buy anything within the school grounds. Looking at the documents, I was in complete shock. If that's the case, aren't the government being a little bit generous towards the students? I can say that there is maybe about 100 students above studying in this school, so giving money to them for three years straight is just amazing for me. I get that it's funded by the government but man, that was a lot of money. There are reasons for that master. For now, let's just listen to what the teacher is about to say. As Seal said those. Say Sensei spoke in front of the class. I will now hand out your student ID cards. By using your card, you can access any of the facilities on campus, purchase goods from the store, and so on. A card that can access any facilities on campus? Why is she giving us that? Also, be mindful about your points. As of now, you will be receiving 100,000 points that you can use for this month. One point is equivalent to one yen so you can use this to buy every necessity you need. Also you're going to be evaluated by your merit so be mindful about your actions. 100,000 points that is equivalent to 1 yen per point are being handed to a high school students? Am I hearing this right? Seal. She just said that we will be receiving a 100,000 points, right? Correct. Isn't that a little bit too much for a student to have? Even if this school was funded by the government, the amount of money being given towards the students are mind-boggling for me. Those were my true feelings. Even when I was still the king of former Tempest Nation, people always calls me stingy but the truth is, I just want to produce great improvements by little the cost. So hearing the government give too much money for a brat like them is funny for me. Master. I think you're confused about something. Pulling me back at my thoughts, Seal suddenly told me those words. What do you mean? The teacher clearly didn't elaborate everything regarding the points system. What? 
She said that students will be receiving 100,000 points for this month, but she didn't say that 100,000 points will be received every month. After realizing it, I completely understood what Seal was trying to say. So it's a test, huh? What a clever thing to do. I believe it is. By giving the students a false assumption, the school will judge on how the students will act. And based on what the teacher had just said, the merits made by the students will be the deciding factor of how much points they can get in the next month. If that's the case, whoever made this method is a genius. She deliberately said that we will be receiving a large amount of points this month, which can buy everything we need, but she excluded the part of what will happen in the future month. Seal. Have anyone noticed about it? Based on their reactions, no one have a clue about it. No one huh? I looked around and see students chatting with one another, without having a clue of what this is all about. Hey wanna head out to the store later? Sure I was headed there later so I don't mind. With this money we can buy everything we want. This school is the best isn't? I'm glad I am studying here. Such words are being thrown around the classroom, and I can't help but to chuckle silently at my seat. This school is really interesting. Kiyotaka Pav. After the long explanation of Sei Sensei, she left the classroom. This school doesn't seem as strict as I thought, I muttered to myself. Unbeknownst to me, my neighbor heard what I said and assumed that I was talking to her. Yes. This school is pretty lenient, isn't? Agreeing with me, I looked around the class and saw students talking with each other happily. They're discussing about the point system laid out by Sei Sensei and seems excited about it. 100,000 points though, seems too convenient for a high school student. Looking at the phone given to me, I saw the numbers up top that wrote the amount of my points. This is a little bit too promising. Despite the rules that we weren't allowed to contact anyone or leave the campus, it seems like everyone in here doesn't have any complaints about it. While I was at my thoughts, Horikita looked at me and said, This is too good to be true, isn't? Yeah, you're right. It didn't make sense for me about why the school would give such amount to us. There must be more to this than what have been already explained, for now, I have to gather more information. With such resolve, I reminded myself to hunt for information later after school, while thinking that a boy from our class stood up and and spoke. Everyone, can you please listen to me for a moment? All of the students went silent by the sudden command. We all looked at him and he began to speak. Starting today. We're all going to be classmates, therefore, I think it'd be good for us to introduce ourselves and become friends as soon as possible. We still have some time until the entrance ceremony, what do you say? He did something I can never do in front of the class, never do is an overstatement, you could say that standing in front is just too troublesome for me. I heard someone shouted that they agree with him and by the looks of it, most of the students are in the same thoughts. Then let me introduce myself. I'm Harada Yusuke. You can call me Harada, I'm fine with that. Also, I plan on joining the soccer team in this school, so I hope all of us can have a fun three years together. Ending with a charming smile, I can say that he will be popular amongst the girls. Well then. I'd like for everyone to introduce themselves, starting from the front, is that okay? After that a long wild introduction was made. I haven't listened for the most part, but someone caught my attention. Hello everyone. My name is Kushida Kikyu. I looked around the first years this morning but sadly I haven't found anyone from my previous school attended in here. So I was hoping that I can be friends with all of you from now on. You can share me your contact number and I'll assure you that you can count on me on every activities in the class. That's all. Many clapped at her introduction and it seems like the boys are getting ready to take her number. I bet she's going to be popular too. That kind of attitude is too hard for me to imitate. If I could just do it. I wonder how many friends I can make. Well then, next up. Harada then looked at the guy with the red hair. He scowled at Harada and gave off an intense aura around him. Don't lump me into your childish thing. What are you, a bunch of children? I don't have to introduce myself so leave me out of it. Crossing his arms, the red-haired guy leaned back on his chair and closed his eyes. I won't force you to introduce yourself, but I think that getting to know each other is not a bad thing. This seems to annoy the man and shouted, I told you didn't I? What's wrong with you people? Well it seems like we also have a hot head in this class. He received hateful glares especially from the girls but he just shrugged it off like nothing. Okay then. Next up is. The guy who tried talk to Rimuru earlier stood up. 
My name is Ike Kanji. I love girls and I particularly want cute girls just like Rimuru. With his statement, he received a lot of cursed words from most of the boys. Even the red haired guy joined in. Idiot. Keep your fantasies to yourself. Keep dreaming, bro. You wish. Different hateful words was thrown at him, but he didn't back down. I'll prove to you. I'll make her mine. This only caused an uproar in the class. Boys are ready to strike him, but they were pulled back by their friends. This just got problematic. Shut up. Rimuru san won't even waste her time towards you. Shouts was heard in classroom and the commotion only grew. Fortunately, Harada was able to calm things down. Miss Tempest, would you mind introducing yourself? With Harada's question, the classroom turned dead silent. I can see Rimuru smiled a bit as she stood up. Hello everyone, it seems like you know my name now but let me introduce myself again. I am Rimuru Tempest, forgive my weird name, I'm not really from Japan. You can call me Rimuru if you like, I don't mind it. Her words was received loud and clear despite the previous shouting. No one dared to interrupt her words and just listen closely. Also, I don't plan to be in a romantic relationship with a boy or a girl, but I'm willing enough to be acquainted with everyone. This sent pain throughout the hearts of most of the boys in the classroom. Clenching their chest, they accepted what they just heard and held their tears. She has the power to make someone fall in love and make them her puppet, but she's saying that she doesn't want it, that's interesting. Right. Thank you Miss Rimuru. Now then, you at the back, would you mind introducing yourself? Thinking about what Rimuru had just said, I didn't notice that it was already my turn to speak. You him. Hello. I stood up awkwardly and tried to formulate my words. Their looks towards me hurts me a little but I decided to continue. My name is Ayanokoji Kiyotaka. And uh, I don't have any particular skills or talents but uh, I'm interested in most things. I hope that I can be friends with you. Few clapped at my introduction, including Harada and Rimuru. I can see the disappointment in Horikita's face and I knew that I have failed. I messed up big time didn't